Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so today we will be uh, discussing how to create uh, a dashboard uh, using a stream lead. Uh, let me just share my screen first. Can you see my screen? Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, I, I believe some of you uh, were asking about the uh, structure of the project, the, the folder structure. Uh, uh, from here, I think down there, uh, there is a folder called app. Uh, this is where we will be working on. Uh, you can call uh, the folder as app, but I called it in my case um, stream lead. But you can you can uh, adopt uh, in such a way in in this format. So here I have a, a folder called stream lead. Uh, this the, the the big one i think so in that folder uh, i have two hidden folders i believe uh, dot stream lead uh, this is for configuring the uh, stream lead in order to um, uh, run the code while you are saving we just need to set this right so let me just show you the folder structure. So here I have a stream lead folder. Inside that folder, um, there is a dot stream lead folder. This is where we put the config file for stream lead. And we call it config.tom, T-O-M-L. And inside that folder, uh, I mean file, we write square brackets server and then run on save true. What this will do is whenever you update your code, uh, it will reflect uh, those updates on the uh, on the uh, web app. So Streamlit is um, a web app framework that will allow you to present your findings um, in a dashboard port format. Uh, so here I created a home.py file uh, inside the folder. Uh, and then uh, I will I will I will be working on or this will be my home page or the, the first page. We will see uh, multiple pages in Streamlit. So the, the first thing you need to do is you need to install uh, Streamlit. Um, so I'm using pip uh, since I created a virtual environment. Uh, I will say pip install. In my case, it's pip3. Uh, pip3 install a streamlit. Since I already installed the streamlit, it will uh, say requirement satisfied. Uh, in your case, it will uh, install if you didn't install it. So that that will be um, uh, the first step, and then once we install it, we need to import it, right? So import str uh, streamlit as st, and uh, as a we need other some other packages like panda because we are doing some data analysis and then uh, present our. Uh, figures or visuals on the dashboard. So we will say import pandas as PD. If panda is not installed, you have to install it. Uh, and also we need to export, uh, in, import. Uh, you can use matplotlib, but the matplotlib plots are not interactive. So today we will use uh, plotlib. So uh, you have to import uh, plotlib. Uh, dot express as 
px. Uh, what else do we need? If we need more, we will we will uh, import them. So you have to also install Plotly. Uh, now, um, maybe I can add a title, st.title, uh, just to start. Uh, and maybe this is a sale dashboard. So what I will do is I will be in the same uh, directory as the file, that's the home.py. Uh, so I will say streamlit run and then the, the file name. It can be app.py, it can be um, anything, you, the, the, the name of the file that you are using. So if I do this, it will open the web app uh, in the localhost 8501. So you can uh, open that up. So we have not this one. I think this is, uh, didn't, where is it? Uh, okay, and never mind. We can we can open it from here. Uh, oh oh, that that that's correct. Uh, here, instead of the the home dot pi, I add uh, a folder called pages because Streamlit will uh, automatically include multiple pages if you create a folder called pages and put your uh, other stream lead pages inside this page folder it will uh, bring it automatically that's what's happening here and it will put it uh, as a sidebar so here that's the the main page this is our home page right uh, with a title sales dashboard and there is another file called basics inside the the the, the page folder so if i add another uh, file inside the page for example um, eda eda.py this will automatically get the file name and it will display it uh, in the sidebar as you can see it's eda but there is nothing there it will be blank so we can uh, put our visuals or whatever we want to put uh, in this page so in the first page, we only put uh, what we call it sales data. So the first thing you need to do is you need to design your uh, dashboard. How should it look like? Uh, once you have designed, then you can put the, the components uh, on this page. Uh, but before that, there are some basic uh, components uh, that you can use uh, in Streamlit. Um, Maybe we can experiment from this one, uh, from the uh, basics.py. So on this page, uh, let me just remove this. If I save it, uh, there is nothing here, right? So maybe the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to configure the, the, the page, which means st.setPageConfig and then the page title uh, this page title is not the, the the title that we're going to see here rather uh, this one this um, basic streamlit instead i want it to be something else right so uh, i i called it uh, sales but i want it to be maybe basics so if i save it uh, as you can see, that is basics. But, and the title for the page uh, or the header, we can call it the header, uh, is using set.title. That's EDA analysis. And then I add a slider. Um, uh, if you want to add uh, different components, what you'll do is you'll say st. The, the, the component that you want. So a slider will take a minimum value, a maximum value, and the default value, and then the step, right? Uh, in this case, the default value is 50. And if you move it around, it will move uh, within a step of 10. 
if I go back, uh, click here, that's 40, 30, etc. Right? So the, the, the step uh, has to be specified, the, the default value, I can make it zero. If I do this, uh, when we see the uh, default value, it's zero. And if I change the step by one, uh, instead of 10, it will be one, uh, as you can see, one, two, three, four, et cetera. And automatically I can display the, the value that's using, uh, I have this slider as a variable called van, and then I just simply write it, right? So this is how uh, we add uh, components. We can add a button. Uh, for example, what I will do is uh, btn1, um, just a button, uh, a button, and it says click me. And then uh, using uh, an F condition or uh, a session, you can uh, act on when the button is clicked. So if I say if BT1, when I click the, the button, what do I want to do? Uh, maybe I want to um, write something, right? So I will say st dot write. Um, I am clicked, right? So if I save this, here I have a button which is which says click. So when I click it, that means its its status or its state will be true, and then uh, the uh, this will be executed, right? So if I click, uh, you can see that it says I'm clicked. Right, so there are different components. You can use uh, input text, um, yeah, different elements. Uh, uh, radio button, uh, drop down menu, etc. Uh, but for us, what we are mainly interested in is that how can we, uh, after our analysis uh, and did our visualization, uh, we can create a dashboard, right? So to do that, uh, the first thing we need to do is maybe it, it, the, the data can come from um, a previous calculation uh, or you can uh, upload it directly. So the first thing we need to do today is uh, we will upload uh, a local file. Uh, there is, um, I have a data called financial data. So, uh, um, we will be working on that. All right. Uh, I think to save time, I already wrote the the code, so I'll be just uh, bringing those codes to uh, that one. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we define a function called load data, and then we give it the pass, right, and then. Uh, I will obtain my data frame from the Excel or from the CSV file. In, in our case, uh, we have um, uh, an Excel file which is called sales trend. Uh, I think that's the different one. It's the financial data. Uh, we use the Panda to read that file, but still this is just a function. We didn't use it yet, right? So how can we upload or load the data? Uh, to do that, we use what we call it file uploader. Uh, and I want it to be uh, on the slider. Uh, I mean, in the sidebar. Um, uh, with st.sidebar, the, the sidebar is this one, right? So I want that file uploader to be here, not, not on the main page. So to, to put it in the sidebar, uh, what you do is with st.sidebar, uh, you put whatever you want here. For example, I can say st.write, uh, sorry. Um, hello world, right? If I save, uh, as you can see from the sidebar, there's a hello world. So with something, which means everything you put inside this block, 
will be reflected on the sidebar on the sidebar so i want to uh, put the file uploader here instead of the the main page so what we'll do is uh uploaded file or yeah uploaded upload files i think a or file is equals to st dot file uploader uh and then you can say choose a file uh, you can specify what type of uh, data you want to uh, upload you can restrict it to uh, a specific uh, data types or uh, data extensions uh, in this case i only want to upload a csv or an excel file it will not upload or get a, a different file extension uh, and this will give you the 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 uh, the file pass the file pass so using this upload file i can call the uh, data loaded function so that we can get the the data frame um yeah so this will be handled we have to handle it if it, if if we are not uploading a file yet uh since it's it will be executed from top to bottom uh we must uh, put a condition here if we are not uploading any file yet don't do anything after uh, this point on that's what it means so what i'll do is um, okay i can change this one there it means if file upload is none which means if we didn't upload anything then just write this information upload files row config and then stop don't go further. That, that's what it means. I, I will show you the, 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 the difference. Uh, so if I save this uh, here, as you can see, uh, drag and drop the files here. Uh, you can browse and uh, upload your file. And in, at that time, we will have uh, the, the variable name called upload file. So this is the file pass that we uh, uploaded so using that i can create my uh, data frame my data frame so to check that first we need to check if this is not none if this is not none so if uh, uploaded file is not none then i can uh, say my sales data is loaded data that's we are calling this function and we gave it the file pass and that will return the panda data frame and then here uh, i just want to display uh, the data frame of that sales data right so if i save this nothing will change because we didn't upload anything because the upload file is none now when i brought the data um, uh i get this table right this is uh if it's not none which means it's not none right because i already uploaded the file then this line will be executed that means it will call this function uh, load data and then it will pass the file pass and it will uh display uh, this one uh, but here this one is it's okay but we don't want to put everything here instead uh, what we we will do is we will expand it. i want to uh, see the data if only needed right so what we will do is uh, we, we will use expander instead of writing it directly uh, so let me put it outside so what i will do is uh, with um, st dot expander uh, th there are there are different options uh, maybe i will i will use this one uh, uh, okay 
that that's fine uh but before that let's let's design our dashboard right uh how many columns do you want you can uh, grid your uh, page first so uh here maybe uh, i think we can do it here uh, not this one um i think this might not be necessary because uh it's already not none uh if it's none it will not come here so this is this is okay so what i will do is i will create three columns call one call two and call three uh is equals to st dot column or columns and then you pass the 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 ratio uh, the the ratio of these three columns i want them to be equal in that case i will say one 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 but if i want them to be for example the the middle to be twice as the the left and the right hand side uh, I, I will say uh two so you can uh design in 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 that way but for now i want it to be uh equally sub spaced uh three columns column one column two column three and i want to put uh this one on the first column right so what i will do is uh with uh call one call one dot uh expander uh i want to do this no no not not not, not this uh, I think it's expander, yeah, and we we can give it the the name. So this is uh, sales data. This this just the the name of the sales data. And what I want to do, I want to just simply write uh, the data. Uh, right sorry st dot right what do i want to write that's the sales data so if we save what is that uh, possibly but for given option figure arcs layout mean columns uh i uh, uh, I need to use the, the or configure the the wider. Uh, I want to take the the whole page, right? So I need to configure the the page this way. I only configured it for the basic one. That that's the problem, I believe. Um, all right so if i upload my file which is this one uh layout min max takes two positional arguments but for for where given where st columns uh sorry oh oh uh, this has to be uh, an array this has to be an array or a list. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Hmm. Sales data. I did load the sales data. Uh, call one okay um, call two I did say expander right 
Oh, expander. Yeah, that was it. All right. So th this is this is the first column, right? I added the or write the data, but I want to uh, display it whenever I want. So if I click this one, uh, I will have the data. I will have the data, right? Um, the, are there any questions? Am I clear? Any questions? Uh, please ask. Uh, all right. So that that's uh, where is it? So that's the first column. Now uh, on the second column. Uh, the, the first thing you need to do is uh, you need to describe your data set, right? Uh, using maybe info or using describe, and then you can uh, display your description here uh, or description data here. So what we will do is we will do the same, except instead of uh, sales data, I will write the, the, the described data, right? So maybe i can call it info is equals df dot describe uh, uh you can uh, as you know no this is not df rather it's sales data uh what did i call it yeah sales data sales data dot describe right uh, in this case uh, depending on the uh, type of the columns, whether it's numeric or uh, categorical, it will describe and give you the uh, basics, in, basic information uh, about that data. Uh, you can specify some parameters here, like include both uh, a string or float or int, etc. You can you can do that. So once I have this, I will I will just copy paste this one. Uh, and then uh, we will say oh, in column two. I want this to be in the second column. So I, I will I will say call two dot expander. I want it to be uh, minimized. And this is maybe I don't know description. Uh, and then I will say info. Write the info inside the expander. That's what it means. So if I save this. Um, no, it's not this one. I believe it's this one. So you see, this is the sales data and this is the description. As you expand it, uh, here we have year, January, February. Actually, this is not a good way to describe this data. Uh, maybe we should have uh, melted it and uh, reorganize it. Let's, let's do that first. Um, yeah, uh, th this is not what I want to show you. Uh, uh, oh, this one, uh, as, as you can see, the data uh, here, the, the year column, it doesn't look like a year. It looks like a number, right? Uh, we, can, we can format that. Uh, this is not 2000 uh 12 <laughs> actually it is <laughs> but this is not how we write uh, a year uh it, 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 the, the 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 comma shouldn't be there so we can we can format that using this one so i will just uh use this code you can since i will share it with you you will you will go through it this will only format the data nothing else so I will do that and the sales data. Uh, and I'm going to change this to DF for the data frame. Uh, all right, now it should be good. Whoa, what is this? Oh, this is the description that I want. Sorry. 
it's not that I, I want this that that would be that the second step uh, with the expander I want to use this one this one to use all right uh, now as you can see that the year is formatted the year is formatted uh, we just simply say year column st column config column config so we want this uh, numeric column uh, in this format that's what it means you can uh, read up on that uh, and then uh, from this data what we did is uh, we want to use or uh, group the uh, data only for uh, business units which are related to software from the business unit column uh, i want to collect the, the software and we gonna call that scenarios uh, or we are going to um, do eda or any analysis for softwares uh, for each sale and months, that the scenario would be um, a budget in, uh, uh, call it cost. So that, that's the sale data. And I want to write that sale data in the second column. So this is the sales data, the whole data. And this is the a description uh, no no not the description i want to write the description of this data it is not right oh this has to be info the sales data i want uh, description uh, let me just do this one all right now you can see the the description uh only for the sales the count the mean the standard deviation etc uh, as i said you can add more uh, description on on that uh and on the third maybe on here i want to add something else uh a basic component is a metric right so to add a metric with column <clears throat> or we can do it directly here call to uh, actually call sorry dot metric so what kind of metric do you want to put here uh maybe the the total sale the total sale uh, let me bring it uh where is the metric yes that's call three so the metric it's total sales and its value is from the sales data i just sum up the the um, the sale and the delta uh, you can either take the smallest change I just want to show you how to uh, put a metric. Like when you uh, develop a dashboard, uh, you might uh, want to keep eye on the uh, key performance indicators. In that case, you, they 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 uh, will be uh, as a matrix. So that would be the the third column. You see, that's total sales. That's the amount, and that's the change. This delta if you, if it's a negative number uh, it will be red and it will, the the arrow automatically will be down what i mean is instead of this if we use uh, minus 3 um, uh, maybe let's forget the dollar sign for now as you can see it's red and it's down if it's a positive delta uh it will be a, a green and uh, an upward arrow uh, and this this number doesn't look 
good, right? We can format it. Um, I hope you know how to format uh, numbers. So what we can do is, uh, this is the value. I, I want to format this value. So what I will do is, uh, uh, do you know about string formatting or something? Uh, I want to put uh, a comma that's for a number maybe uh, and I want it to be uh, two decimal places and then you say dot format and then you 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 pass the value why is this happening uh, let's see how uh, format is it a T? Uh, a string object doesn't have uh, I don't just format. I want this to be a single string. What's the thing? Sorry. Um, no. Huh? Did I format it here? No. Mm, okay. Why is this not working? Huh. Um, no, no. Can maybe we can use a string formatting, but that wouldn't. Um, okay. Let me just. <laughs> Uh, no. Uh, anyway, um, I, I, I will include it uh, later. Let's just leave it as it is. Uh, I did it earlier. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, let's let uh, I will change it later uh, before I upload it. All right, now uh, the, the, the next step is to bring some plots, right? So maybe the first plot that we can do is um, a line plot, right? Uh, as I said earlier, I have some plots prepared already. Uh, the first one is a scatter plot. And I want that to be on the uh, first column, right? Which means it will be on the second row of the first column because we already put one element inside column and one. When I say again, column and one, uh, it will be uh, below the, the, the previous component. So, uh, this SD cache data means um, you don't need to uh, upload the data every time when you uh, save the, the uh, file. That that if this is not there, it might not reflect the the, the data. So fig px that's uh, plotly dot scatter plot. I want to plot uh, a man's against sales. Uh, for the and the coloring would be scenario and you put the title and then 
uh, use the wide format and then you call the, the function scatter plot. So if I do this, I will have uh, a good, all right, maybe doesn't look good. Uh, as you can see, it's interactive. Uh, you can hover over any point and you, you will get or you will see the exact uh, men's and amount. Uh, you can also expand it here. You can put it in um, a full screen. Um, there are options. You can zoom, uh, you can select some of them only. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff uh, since it's interactive. That's why I like uh, Plotly. Plotly. Uh, we can plot the, the line plot. Uh, the only difference is px.plot, I mean px.line. px.line. That, that's, that's, that's what you can change. So if I put this and I want that to be on the second column. That's a line plot. Uh, then that that's my plot. Maybe I think if I expand it, it will be clear. Uh, yeah, you can customize the the font size, etc. You can do much more. Um, we can put a pie chart. Uh, I think you get the idea. You just bring some components. Uh, that will bring the, the, yeah. So this is how you can create uh, a dashboard. You, you need to read uh, about the, those components uh, in the Streamlit documentation. Are there any questions, something that's not clear? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Was I talking to myself? Oh, the brace is inside. Adana, thank you. Uh, let's, let's try that. Uh, where is it? A metric. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. Dot format. Yeah. And then inside here, uh, what we want is we want the the colon. Um, uh, a comma, a dot. A two, uh, I mean two. That's what I want. As you can see, this is 1.9 e times 10 raised to nine. Uh, you can convert this into um, maybe million or something. Uh, if this is not a good way, what we can do is we can divide it by a million. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can add the, the prefix, which means I can say plus because it's a string, it's string concatenation. I can say M. This will look much better. What? Um, what am I formatting? Divide by a thousand. Uh, it is true, but there are still um, maybe let me add two more, and that that would be different. If I add three, that would be in billions. One, two, three, and then I can call this to be B. Um, that that's much more. Or, Better and I can add the dollar sign there. Yeah. 
Well, sorry. I'm back, sorry. Uh, uh, are there any question? Is it clear? Guys, please ask. Uh, don't, don't try, just ask. Let me read it, but unmute your mic and speak up, please. Uh, Tamer, go ahead. Hello. Hi, Tamer. Okay, it is good, uh, but don't forget to send us the file. Uh, in order to yeah, yeah. I, I, I will I will send it uh yeah we will do that okay thank you it uh, was very all right all right very good lecture thank you um are there any additional visualization expected from us aside from what you have uh, showed us uh of course it depends on your analysis right in your analysis, you might do some correlation between the variables. In that case, you have to uh, create a correlation uh, map or plot. Uh, th these are not the only plots that you are going to use. These are just two of them. The, you, so, sometimes you might need a bar graph, right? Actually, I did include a bar graph. Um, yeah. So it depends on your analysis and what you want to put in your dashboard um, if you want to be much uh, or more uh, advanced you can also include uh, gauges you see you can put whatever you want you can design it in a different way it's it's up to you you just need to understand the basics how to uh create columns uh how to uh plot the graphs once you understand that it's it's all about designing your uh, dashboard i hope that's clear you um so does we create page for each explore explore data for the eda uh, as i said it's it's up to you i can make this uh wave up a uh, hundred page if I if I want to what you'll do is you will add uh, a Python file inside the the page folder so if I add here uh, maybe um, uh, reports right reports.py and then what I will do is import a streamlit as a city uh and then what would be my report uh, the first thing you need is maybe a title right st to title uh you can also use what you call it um, markdown language um a week zero a report on solar panels I don't know. So you can Sir, you can add. Shared. Oh, I didn't share my screen. Oh, sorry. I thought I did. Uh, right.
Can you see it now? Hello? Is it visible? Okay, thank you. So uh, what, what I was saying is that uh, inside these page folders, I can put it uh, any file or any page I want, right? So here I created reports.py and then inside that um, I put a title and I can say subtitle or subheader. Uh, uh, I don't know business needs or project objective. Uh, etc right so automatically the the report page will be here if i click i will have this i can design it um, uh, in, in 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 any way right um one thing uh here it will it will put it in um alphabetical order except the the, the home page so if you want to reshuffle them what you'll do is you will rename your file. Uh, for example, I want the EDA to be at the beginning and the basics to be at the end, right? In that case, what I will do is I will rename this uh, with uh, numbers. So if my EDA wants, if I want it to come first, I will say one underscore, that will come first. And then the basics, I want it to be at the end, so I will say three underscore, and then the report will be the second page. Uh, two underscore. If I save this, I, I will have EDA, report, and basics. So you can order them. Uh, by default, it will be in alphabetical order. Um, this, okay, sorry. This, uh, in the side bar, upload file is useful for second column. Uh, what Daniel? Can you can you elaborate that in the dashboard? Daniel. Am I audible? Hello, Daniel. Okay. Um, to design this dashboard, it, is it mandatory to use this code? Um, this code is just um, a code editor. You can use PyCharm. You can use even uh, Notepad. It, it's up to you. But uh, this code will make your life very much easy. Uh, there are a lot of ex extensions um, in this code. Uh, sometimes uh, 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 you, ca you can include, for example, some of the uh, code AI uh, helpers. When you write, they, they will automatically, uh, uh, it, it's, it's a good editor. You can use other editors. It's not a must, but you have to create a script. You have to create a .py file. And the way you run it, the way you write it, it's up to you. But this code, uh, for me, is the, the, the best uh, code editor. You can use whatever you want. Uh, using desktop computer. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, importing Excel file by the second column in the dashboard. Oh, you want me to, okay. Um, here, what we did is, uh, <clears throat> with the sidebar, I want the, the maybe I will, I will show you this one uh, in, in this way. If I put this outside, Uh, what will happen is it will take the whole row for uploading the, the data. That's one thing. Uh, uh, as you can see, it takes the whole row. Instead, I want it to be here on the sidebar. 
That's why we say with st.sidebar, uh, inside the sidebar, uh, I'm uploading a file. This is st file uploader. File uploader takes um, a description. You choose a file or upload a file. You can call this whatever you want. And then you can specify type CSV or Excel. This file uploader will only accept a CSV file or an Excel file. If I try to upload something else, uh, even it, it will not give me the the other uh, extensions. Why is it not coming? Uh, where is my site uploader? Oh, it's in the home. So if I say browse, um, it 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 will only show you those file formats. For example, if I go to the desktop, I have a lot of PDF files, but it doesn't show them here, right? That, that's why. Uh, if I include uh, PDF here, PDF, it will it will show them. If I say browse, as you can see now, the the PDF files are visible, right? So you can specify what type of data you want to uh, upload to your dashboard. Um, then if you upload uh, a file, you, you're going to proceed with creating your uh, elements. But if the file is not uploaded, you have to stop because we need the data, right? Uh, you don't, for, for your analysis, actually, you don't need this. You, you don't need to upload a file because those data or the data frame, this data frame, comes from your it, it can come from your scripts or it can come from uh, your Jupyter notebook actually you are not going to get the data from the Jupyter notebook instead um, inside your scripts you have to modularize your EDA analysis uh, from the Jupyter notebook to the Python scripts right so in those Python scripts since they will be uh, class based or function based they will return a data so you can call those functions inside your app to get the data you can call um, for example if i have a folder here uh, scripts uh, and then if i have a file name uh, i don't know uh, clean data And I will write my cleaning here, but to clean the data, I should import this uh, the, the data here. So I, what I will do is I will simply uh, use this one and specify um, uh, import, sorry, import pandas as PD and then uh, def uh, upload uh, oh, sorry. Upload data. Uh, I'm going to make it hard coded. So it will return PD read CSV uh, inside this data. For example, I do have um, hmm, uh, sales trend data, right? So that would be, is it? It's an Excel, so I need to say uh, sales. You see, th this is the um, importance of this code. Well, sales, what? Uh, let's see. dot xl sx and that's not inside there i need to go out and fetch that data right go outside of this stream lead uh, and then get the data so once i have this one uh, i can call it from my home page right 
uh, you need to set the the uh, in the working uh, uh, directory like importing os os dot pass you have to add that and then uh, from uh, data import uh, what did i call it uh, no anyway you you you, you can call uh, the the functions in your dashboard and get the data you don't need to upload that's what i want to say um second column uh, uh okay you will share. yes yes i will i will share the the, the code i will put it uh, in github or somewhere you you will get it um maybe after 20 minutes i, I need to clean it up and then yeah any other question is it is it clear all right then we can call it a day if you have any question please ask yeah all right have a good afternoon uh you can stop the recording now thank you